Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am with the PTR for Season 19 Dragon Rise Conqueror's Play. We're going to be covering everything you need to know that is coming into the brand new season, dropping as a free update in two days' time on the 21st of March 2024. Three new units coming in, a few kind of UI changes. Not much else, unfortunately, that I've been able to discover, but we're going to go through everything, and I'm going to show you everything that is meant to be coming into our version of the game on Thursday. So, starting off with the season challenges we're going to go straight into the uh, new units which are the feathered crossbowman the Wu Wai mansion guard and the Junja heavy cavalry i have footage from all of these which i'm going to be playing throughout the video as well but we will go straight into each of these units and actually have a proper look at them so the feather crossbowman these are the tier three ranged unit coming into the game very very quick and very powerful actually quite good crossbowmen that i think are going to tear through a lot of blue units in the blue meta when we first get into the season um i've actually put double shot on these and all the rest of it as well but really nice kind of feeling unit which i think is going to make a quite a big kind of impact in the game especially in the blue meta i think we'll probably see them a little bit into the purple meta as well so a couple of different skills you can just literally pause the video and just read these as i'm going through them double shot is just from a doctrine i've put on them as you can see though actually on this screen we have got a bit of a ui change as well which has tidied up things a little bit as well so we can literally look at the unit traits we can look at their basic attributes all on the same page which is quite nice plus as well we have the uh, change attire the veterancy the doctrines and the unit mastery now this makes me think every single unit in the game is going to get unit mastery at some point or another because this button is appearing on every single unit at the minute so it's going to be interesting to see actually if we are going to be getting a unit mastery right across the board but going into their veterans three just the one line with these guys here um not too much to really chat about to be honest with these guys other than they are quite a quick shooting quite powerful blue crossbow units which again I think is going to make quite a bit of difference in the uh, blue meta going into the purple unit which is the Uxui uh, mansion guards these guys hit like an absolute truck when i was using these i was going up against tier three bandits just out in the open world and they were absolutely tearing things a new one really really good really really powerful kind of unit and the cooldowns on them are quite low and they are real real powerhouses i haven't even really got too much in terms of kind of damage increase to these because i've got a leadership i've got a defense doctrine like i do have a few kind of damage increase doctrines on these like nothing out of the ordinary so i think these guys are really going to be hitting hard i left them on the top line after having a quick look through all of this this line does seem to be a little bit more kind of I don't think it's going to be as good as the uh, top line. I think the top line is definitely the one to go for for these guys. But obviously after a little bit of unit testing and everything, we'll see exactly which line it is going to be. But I am looking forward to actually unlocking these probably the most out of all the three units. These guys, I think, are going to be absolute powerhouses on the live server. Going into the last unit, the tier five unit, this is the, uh, the heavy cavalry. It's bit of a cross between kind of winged hussars and the yang yadao but not so <sighs> they're very very mobile they tend to kind of move and turn very very quickly however i noticed when i used their thunder charge ability they just kept charging so i actually had to call them back at some point as well put a sprint doctrine on them just give them a little bit of increased speed and everything but these are the two skills that they're going to be coming with so thunder charge and disciplined assault now i saw these guys pumping out again some absolutely insane damage just using their basic attacks so the charge and the other skill actually do do some decent damage as well i think these guys are going to be well used when they actually drop into the game why we've got more cavalry is beyond me i don't think we really need it at this point in the game but we've got it anyway and these guys are kind of a, a lesser kind of range wing tussars that's how they kind of feel to be honest bit of a bit of a mix up between the wing tussars the yang yadows and the cataphracts that's how i probably put them at this point but i think we are going to see quite a lot of these when they actually come into the game i actually switched lines here i moved from the top line because this is how they were set up so i've come down to the bottom line just to give them a little bit more increased uh, damage which 
really did feel like they did some real kind of damage against the units out in the bandits really looking forward to actually all these units a lot more so than i have done the last couple of seasons i think all of these are a little bit more fun to play with than the last few units that have come out in the last few seasons going back into the f5 menu though we're going to show you the battle pass now nothing changes ui is exactly the same level one with the paid uh, battle pass you will be getting the snow falcon attire which i really quite like actually i really do enjoy that and then obviously as we're moving up all of the different levels you're going to be unlocking different rewards now if you are on the paid version of the battle pass you obviously will be unlocking the top line as well as the bottom however if you're not on the page you will just be unlocking the bottom one and to be honest there's some decent rewards in there anyway so actually you are going to be getting some decent stuff whether you are paid or whether you are not but going all through you're getting kind of glory you're getting uh, epic artillery you're getting crafting materials and things like this level 50 you get the unit attire which is kind of nice I do like that moving on up the next big one is level 70 which is the horse attire for the season not too keen on this one i'm i'm having to say that doesn't really kind of do it for me really not not too keen on that one moving then all the way up to level 100 and this is where you get your level 100 uh new dawn attire so this is the one that has been in a lot of the gameplay trailers and everything like that really nice cloak really nice attire quite looking or oh, quite liking the look of this one this is the level 100 paid battle pass though so you have to pay for the battle pass to be able to get these attires Challenges, nothing changes. We have lots and lots of different weeks of weekly different challenges and everything, which will obviously give us glory and things like that. Unit challenges, again, this is where you actually go into and unlock your units for the season. Campaigns, now I'm pretty sure this has been labeled a little bit wrong because I believe it's Mao Yang and Ling Yang that we're getting. I don't think we're going to Long Ting. I may be wrong, but I know that there's kind of a bit of confusion at the minute about what unit, uh, what stages and what regions we're kind of going into. But I think Mao Yang is definite. Ling Yang, I think, is the other definite at the minute. But just keep an eye out for any news articles or stuff when the uh, game actually drops on the 21st of March and they'll tell you exactly where we're going and what we're doing. Seasonal runes. Unfortunately, I have had a quick look through all the rooms and it doesn't seem like we are getting anything new, but I am going to just scroll through this page quite slowly for you just so you can literally stop it, you can read it, you can have a look at actually the units or the uh, weapon rooms that you're going to be interested in. Glaives, we're not getting anything different. We have exactly the same rooms that we have had the last few seasons, which is a real shame. Kind of makes me think all the unit classes are probably going to be getting exactly the same runes, which is a real shame because this is one really good thing that used to set the separate the uh, seasons apart a little bit. And actually, I quite enjoyed looking and seeing different runes coming into the game, but it doesn't look like we're getting any this season. But just flashed them all up for you, so just stop the pay, uh, pause the video and have a read through if you want to look at anything in particular. Finally, in the F5 menu, we've got the seasonal store. Now we are getting the iron arm and we are getting the cave dragon, which I really like the spear. I really, really like the spear. I think it's the spear. No, it's a pike, sorry. Really like that pike. Really cool kind of skin. Striking Hawk is the Nodachi, I think. No, it's Chain Dart and Simina. So the Striking Hawk is the Chain Dart and Scimitar, which I'll definitely be picking up because I really like the look of that. Wandering Hero and 100 Victories, and then the Woo Braves for the units. What the sealed part of this means is, I'm not entirely sure at the minute. I have asked the question, I'm not quite sure what that actually means at the minute. No, I don't know if that just means that that is sealed in. That is definitely what we're going to be getting in the live version, but again, not entirely sure about that. A few other kind of attires that you can pick up as you're going through. Obviously, all of this is purchasable with blades, which you can get from the Battle Pass, free and paid. So that's how you're going to be earning these. As always, though, I would always say straight at the beginning of a new season, always pick up the Mastery Reset card. Really useful things to just have it in storage. Artificial Stones, always pick up. Powder Silver, always pick up. And these Battle Hero and Battle Unit XP cards, always pick those up as well. I will be purchasing them as quickly as I possibly we can when I get into the game. Moving on over to the Fame Store this season. Again, I've had a quick look at this already. Nothing seems to have really changed here, but I'm just going to go through you, show all the rewards and everything as you level up your uh, character in terms of glory throughout the season. 
So this is where you donate all the items and stuff to, and then you can literally move up through the uh, fame store here and get additional rewards. So additional rewards as you're going through the fame store here. So starting off with kind of crafting materials, things like that, we get a set of armor each and every season. So nothing has changed there. A few more crafting things, crafting things, schematics, always a good one to get these ones here. Uh, pure wisdom, legend artillery boxes, really nice. And then a reskin of the level 100 armor that we are getting this season right at the end of the fame store. And then at the golden age badge for any of you title hunters out there. I think that is pretty much it. I don't think we've got really anything else to show you. I don't think I've got anything else I can kind of go through. I'll just quickly show you the consumable stores, but again, nothing really changes in here, to be honest. Um, really kind of, I have to say it, and I I, uh, I hate to say it, but a bit of a lackluster season. Again, unfortunately, it feels like a bit of a filler season. Not much has kind of changed in terms of anything else. Obviously, there's a couple of UI improvements, three new units, that's pretty much it. We don't seem to really be getting much more else this season. Now, this is making me think that, again, the last couple of seasons have just been filler seasons. Are they lining up for something super and massive and big for season 20? We're going to have to wait and see, but uh, the game isn't going to survive if we keep having filler seasons like this, and especially with the server issues and server problems that we have faced in the last season. Hopefully those will be fixed. Territory War, Territory War will not be starting on Saturday. That will be a Drew War. Territory Wars will be starting officially on Tuesday. So that will be the first Territory War we are going to be getting. Um, again other than that though there's, there's nothing else to show you there's nothing else to tell you i hope you've enjoyed this video folks please hit that like button hit that share button share this video around to all your housemates and all the rest of the people that you know will be interested in it and i hope to see you over on my stream which is going to be going live as soon as this video drops plus as well hope to catch you out in the new season